welcome back. Right, we have got the harvest to shift. That is the uh, that is the first job, it really is. And then we have got an awful lot of both straw and grass to shift. And we've got a little. Yeah, we did see that yesterday there was a tiny tad on the end of that that hasn't been caught. But that is not going to make any difference. It really isn't. Yeah, we've. I think we did finish that over the other side. this to shift all of this grass, all of that straw, but this is the, uh, yeah, won't move itself out of it. I don't think in almost any maps, I remember Hall Bellerone was the first time I discovered this, they, do, they don't like being sent over railway lines. The um, AI, when I send them to my yard, they go around the edge. They still have to cross the line, so that's bizarre. Yeah, but yeah but it has improved because they can cross this line, but they don't come across this bit, which is really weird because this is a proper crossing. They go a really convoluted way, but they can manage to do it, so it is very strange. Very strange. Right, let's get cracking. Did we ever harvest this? Planted. We did, didn't we? We did do a lot, actually. I can't remember if we ever did 17. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't have a dominator. No, that is true. It is very, very true, actually. We didn't, so create job. Cosplay. Oh, excellent. Ooh. Do you know? Not even that is right. Yeah, I've see this is this is where doing what I did ha is bad right okay let's do that recording the course then uh, start custom field let's go Looks like we've got to do the same, exactly the same as we did on the other one. This is the last one we need to do there, that is the good news. Right, so I am going to say my words. We know what we've got to do. We've got to custom record this and then we have got to like get on. Simple as so. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
this seems a perfect place to stop. All we've got to do, <laughs> it says, all we've got to do is just grab the uh, straw and from the other field, which there's an awful lot on that. We'll have a bit of a top up. Yeah, I thought it was a good place to stop because this, this has been a monster session again, it has, as they seem to always be. So I thought, good time to have a bit of a quick chat. We're going to have a bit of a recce to see how well we did on this session. We've got all the grass from this side, which is good. Stuck it all in this, on these, what the hair scenes on this side. As I said, the equalizer, I hide the met that dropped yesterday, the Metso, Metso J. Metz, not sure how you pronounce it. It sounds an Eastern European type manufacturer because of the, yeah, it does sound Polish, if I'm honest, but I'm not saying it is. It does very sound like a Polish or Bavarian type um, word, the, the way that it's put together, but I might be wrong. I frequently am. Yeah. Usually trying to be clever usually gets into trouble. It does sound, it does definitely have that kind of a ring to it. Now, again, I would imagine it's not pronounced how it looks in English. Yeah, definitely. Yes, it was very pleased with it. It's, it's offset, it's often, and it's a multi. And I, but I, what I thought was it's two birds, one stone. I thought it would also serve as a very large trailer. When we're shifting stuff away, because as I said, we are going to have to equalise. There's probably now way too much straw in this one that had absolutely nothing. How much have we got in here? Yeah, 237 tons. We can only process 180, so definitely need some equalising. In fact, let's have a quick look on all of those because I say it's 180 tons we need of straw in all of them. See, that's got. 11 so what that's one that's obviously processed that's 114 that's 266 that must be where we are and 190 that must be the other one because i did top that up so that's not far off actually it wouldn't matter if we were 10 tons out but it does matter that we shift some out of the one where we are now and let's just tag that make sure i am right i would imagine so oh no actually Oh, so I should have done a couple more loads to this one. Okay, well in that case we need to take quite a bit from that one. Let's have a look. That I would say this is this one then. No. So what are you? You the 190, I would imagine. Of course not. Well, this one's... 249, all right. Well, we've got quite a lot in quite a few. We need to definitely level that, definitely without shadow of doubt. I'll run this over to the... Yeah, I've done quite well. There's, there's quite a bit of straw around the edge of that field. I did a bit of tidy up as we're going along. There's still a couple, but if it does get left, it isn't the end of the world. He says as he goes past a swath of straw. And he has got a forage wagon. So, do you know something? Let's be a little bit thorough. I did see this yesterday. I missed this. So, I know it's not the end of the world, but if you pass it, it is sacrilege to not to grab it. That would be uh, totally wrong. Right, let's drop this in this one. Yeah, so quite, quite sure for the uh, Metz, Metzo J or. jump into it. We can always grab that as a word. Oh no, they don't always do that. No, we won't. We shall wait patiently and we shall cross over. We shall for once. Well, cross over here. So we shall set this one. Oh, the one thing I would like to do is today here yeah, is move the 40 tons and I would also, yeah that is a point, Let's, we, I'd like to get the crop because the crop we're losing money, I did say that, it is the topmost job. Next session there's still plenty to do. Uh, right we need to, how do we detach that like that, as simple as that, wow that is impressive. Now that we're going to need, to, ooh, it's not a normal trailer is it? Aha. 
No, you still have to have the unit attached. Right, okay, to use it as a trailer. Now that is a point. I bet you can't use it in a, as a normal, unless it, you can. It, if we bought this, it would do what we want to, it to do. Now that's a point. Will this let you top up from it? Yes, it will. Because it's... I suppose technically, yeah, it's it's a little bit naughty. I suppose it would retract. It will let me do the uh, the forage, but it won't do for what I intended it to do, which is as a double. If it was ours and we owned it, of course you could, because you can alter it at the um, yeah. But the one thing we're going to do is say take the uh, the trailer loads of this. So next time we've got the grass, which we'll do with the mezzo. And we'll get the straw going with this and stick this into the original silo. And then when we're finished, because we can grab straw, we will... If it's, I think it's 50 tonnes, but if it's not, if it's 50, that'll be 90 tonnes. We can shift at a time up to 90 tonnes, which will be useful for levelling grass, levelling... Yeah, that's a point. How are we doing grass-wise? Because we did do quite a few loads. We did... Grass, 190, 267, 114, and yeah, one that didn't have any, which, I don't know which one that would be, the original one would be, yeah, one of them's not got much grass, so again, equalising, definitely. But we have harvested, we have finished that. I was actually quite awfully shocked that this is only 40, yeah, no, Let's have a look. How much product did we get? It is a big field. Yeah, 10,000. So 10 tons in the... And 40 tons here. So 50 tons. I didn't think this was a larger field than that. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's my expectations. It could be. More than likely is. Now that this time I'm going to just reverse this. Because it should be easy enough, he says. With such confidence. says with such confidence. Reversing two trailers is never easy. Yeah, because it does start to do that. I was turning right, but I need to keep them level. That is not easy. Valiant effort for me. Yeah, I did quite a bit of practice actually over this. Now then, let's level up really well. And then we'll just try and keep them. Not bad. A little bit of luck there as well, definitely. Right, so then we're going to take this over to the grain exporter. We will grab the last 10 tons tomorrow, we will, definitely, that is, it's not going to make much of a difference with it being what it is. Is there any way I can do this? No, not unless I, not unless I got another, another sort of trailer and I'm not going all the way to the storm and then all the way back just to do that and just see, if I actually, yeah, I don't need to worry about you, we'll go past this way, that we learned, the sneaky back way, it's, saves weight for the train, not that it, it's uh, yeah gone through and it's almost gone, so yeah, we'll chill for the session, I would imagine, I would imagine there's one more session, yeah, and that is probably the single most important session, it's where you're literally totting up and, yeah, and also we're going to have to speed time up, it's, I would imagine it's going to be a long session, but I do think the end is in sight, I truly do, Ooh, just, yeah. We do need to check tick up because I would imagine that we're getting a little bit low in our... In fact, yeah, let's not imagine. We have the tools that are in our possession to actually check. Right, and so... Now, it's doing very well. That's the big one. Whereas ours has processed 50 tonnes in the same time that it has processed... 
16. So, yes, as I said yesterday, Disturbed Simulations 1, the BG, is actually better than the big one. Absolutely, its processing times are amazing. Whoever made that equipment certainly knew what they were doing. Yeah, so, let's get ready to put this... Yeah, we'll leave this literally at the exporter, and I'll get that back tomorrow, I will. So this isn't going to bring in that much money, but it will bring in some. It is still 40 tons, so we've got one, one 10 ton set. I don't know if we've got any other product to take across tomorrow, though. So it's going to be a run for 10 tons. Is that going to do anything? 8,000. It's practically 8 grand, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is 8 grand for one 10 ton. It is 800 and odd. So we shall see if we. I suppose it could be one of those things we left because I think we're going to smash it. Doing those sums yesterday, yesterday's session, number crunching a little bit. I think we've absolutely marmalised this with what we've done now. If we're going to get, yeah, we shall see. I'm not going to guess. It's no point. We'll just do it. We shall sell this, and then. It's a matter then of really feeding and just crack carrying on as we go and want to equalise the product we've got in all of the um, fermenting silos so that everybody's got a bit of something that really wants to be done at the beginning of next session. It does, that is the most important thing because there's still time to process now between now and August evening whereas there is, yeah, there's plenty of time. As I did say, there might well be way too much product, no matter what we do. Uh, I mean, the straw straw, you can't change that. It's not like you can change grass into hay. You can't do anything with straw. It is what it is. So if there's too much straw, it's yeah, there's going to come a certain point. In fact, we'll just do a quick look at that, because we may have already reached that. In which case, I'm not going to leave the straw, but it's not so important. It's more important that we equalize the product in all of the four hessians it is whether that's grass we need 180 whatever product that's about what we've got left to be able to process between now and that evening and receive yeah payment for well actually no that's 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 different processing speed of the bgas as we can see the big one is not terribly fast it really isn't but the small one, now that beast is absolutely chewing through the uh, silage, so yeah. I don't regret buying the big one though, it still will have done something. We have got all of July and, and like literally August daytime, so it's not, yeah, it's not like it's not doing anything, it's just that the Disturbed Simulations one is just super, it really is. No denying it. Now if I'm clever, I can actually do two at a time here. I didn't realise this until I was halfway through doing this the other day that you can actually get two of them onto the grate at the same time. Right. That bonus does come in handy. A tad more. Sure, yeah, a little bit more. We've nearly done it. Let's just quickly look at that. We have very nearly done it. Obviously we've got to sell the... We're not, we're not going to do it, but this is amazing. Because as I said, if I'm going to continue on Apache, if I am, I'm going to need money anyway. I really am. So, buy gas is 360. We have... Three, call it 400 that's 760 call it 960 then take away 12 950 yeah so we've got 950 the tick ups through the day and I'm sure if we've got in, I think we could do it if we just the digestate alone in the pair of them there's one full load bar a few litres in the big one 
and I would imagine in our small one now yeah the same in that we've got two and it is the that's what is the price it was good so we've actually I think with that we have actually done it now this very second it's on the drop so we need to be doing that next time as well we'll get these across yeah and preparation I'll keep always say that it's all right saying oh I'll, I'll leave this over here but then tomorrow it means it lengthens the session whereas we're just closing down and chatting now so yep yeah, so actually we have smashed it we have actually got it already done the cookie I'm so chuffed it was still closed though I mean and obviously we have yeah no no we have literally money wise we could if we sold everything of course I'm not that would be a terrible mistake the big biogas plant has got lots and lots of um, silage to process. I don't think how slow that is that that's going to process all of that. Yeah, it seems a, a little bit slower before we sell it. So we're going to lose some um, silage in that, I would imagine. But we'll do as much as we can, as we always said. That was always the plan. We shall process as much and the digest state move that last thing on August evening. We shall hand them their million pound check with a big smile on our face knowing that we've achieved our goal. Yes. So very, very pleased. And also my solicitor says it is a cast iron contract. There's no way anyone can pull a fast one. There's no more extra terms and conditions. So yes, whoever had the audacity to do what they have done. Yeah to try to ruin my life you could say truthfully and squeeze a million and a half whether it was greed or whatever it's yeah it's disgraceful the way that I've been treated after all of the years of faithful service obviously there's somebody at the top who is not a very nice person well right do we need to yeah we have to grab some fuel as we're passing it's a very very silly me not to this thing really does guzzle fuel truly does I think we I'm sure I told this up earlier in the session on this very day yeah it is a gas guzzler it really is oh indicator I'm trying to drive you all crazy so we didn't need to do anything we didn't need to grab any cassettes or anything like that we did it all by our own hard and I do mean hard work because it has been tough yeah it really has and that is included I did think I knew obviously with the adding up we did yesterday that we were getting close and I thought you know just hire a nice forage wagon don't you're gonna need two anyway I thought you can pluck away at the straw with the worker and then you can go and grab the grass and we yeah we're not far off We've got all of the the other side now where the farmyard is field 19 all of that around there and then obviously again the straw on field but again it is we just will have a look at that to see if it is worth it I don't mean we will stop grabbing it but what I'm trying to say is if we've already reached the 180 so that's three seven hundred and twenty thousand liters is our limit on the straw if we've reached that already there's no point whatsoever I, I don't mean we're not going to do it, but what I mean is it's not its not going to matter for what we... We will grab it, but what I could do is stick it in the silo for us and then stick it, because we're going to have to move these Hessians. We're going to have to sell them once the company gets there. I'm going to buy Field 90, which means, yeah, I'm obviously going to have to take the money out of my thing and buy that off the company when it goes on the market on... August turn to September when it gets that so then obviously right in fact yeah let's let's just have a look now 700 let's switch the engine off so 720 is the limit for straw we've got to call it 200 it's easier call it that's 450 we couldn't equalize that 450 550 560 yeah, we've done it. 
we have got as much straw as we can process once we've equalized all of those hessians out so there's no point in putting the straw from I did yeah well you where they put more hessians which we're not going to because it's ridiculous we are yeah we're gonna lose we're gonna lose 14 15 13 and 17 to the company as soon as it turns tomorrow evening so but we will grab the product off while we still have field 17 we are allowed so we're going to grab that off next session but it's not going to count for what we're doing now it's literally there's not enough time to process what's left what we've got in them just needs equalizing to 180 odd tons there's going to be one with a little bit more to actually make that work grass let's have a look at grass as well actually because again same 720 grass it may be that I don't think I think we're alright for grass 211 0 222 282 yeah so we have got plenty of room for grass we're not going to achieve I knew we wouldn't I knew uh, I know we've got field 2 as well we've got one last cut tomorrow morning and because we know we've smashed it, I might... No, we have actually already got the... Um, yeah, the 6.8 metre. We'll do what we did earlier. I think I'll set the 6.8 metre, set a course up for the little one, because it can manage that. It's um, a very reasonable black sheet. Mud and made that mower very well. Let me just have a look. It is being leased at the minute. Is it... Yeah, 75 horsepower. It manages it by 6 horsepower over, so we can set the... A little one doing the course and then with the HTZ we shall literally windrow after it and then we'll pick it up with the I'm not sure if we'll keep the mezzo for that yeah because it's the, it is going to cost quite a lot we shall keep that tomorrow's session oh turn the time down a tad oh this moving malarkey is ridiculous it's best to sit in a tractor I think while I'm talking I can't move then Right, yeah, so I think that's it. We have smashed it. We have achieved our goal, even though, as I say, yeah, it's the writing is on the wall. We've got to catch up in time, but we will have smashed that by quite a considerable amount. And then it will be just literally going through how well we did on top of that. What did we get on top of the million that we need to leave? And obviously then we're going to lose the fields. We need to sell the Hessian so the company can take their... Um, thing back so we need to get all the product um, out of that just in time for the turnover between August and September get the Hessian sold so the company can sell their fields well that, that's not my concern what they do with it to be honest at that point on s September morning all you will see is me buying 19 I'll have to do that because obviously they cannot sell them with stuff on it so I should give them a check for the value of that which is I think it was 120 when we looked yesterday I'm sure that's what it was which is actually good value yeah 127 sorry yeah it's very good loam it's, it's amazing that soil is absolutely amazing so yes that will be all that we get have left and that will be us buying that so we need to need to achieve that at the very least 127 grand positive plus the million for us to actually keep that of course they would have to sell and give me the value of my buildings because I paid them for that being as they clobbered me with that cost as well with their craftiness but anyway yes the uh, oh no stay in the tractor yeah, I am going to say thank you very much for being on this journey with me. I uh, yeah, I'm blown away. I really did. I've got to be honest. It was only yeah two sessions ago when I actually started to do some preliminary sums, and I thought I think we're going to do this. Before that, there was I didn't ever give in to hopelessness, but I did know that the task was a mammoth task. So I am well chuffed that we've achieved this. Yeah. Anyway, I know we haven't technically, we have sort of, yeah, we, we've got enough money on hands if we sold everything right now and wasted all of the silage in the big BGA and didn't cut the grass over there, that's the other thing, there's grass to cut over there. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. 
I, th I think we have done enough hard labour, truly. I think those trees over there deserve to remain standing as well. So, although I was going to, yeah, I did say, oh, we, we shall see, we shall see, it would be nice. Bottom line is now we're working for ourselves, so it would be a very silly farmer that didn't use all of his assets, so I think we probably will we'll use the 6.8 metre and I might do a manual cut and I'll get the little tractor to follow me with follow me with the windrower so that he literally windrows and then I'll just grab with the uh, the little loading wagon it, we might even be able to afford to buy one well, I know it'd be fortunate if we got it in the sales I really do know that that would be like yeah pushing it somewhat but yeah who knows you don't ever know that it, you can't say it'll not happen because it does happen forage wagons do drop but then it's very unlikely but yeah if so, the, I think the pottages are 30 grand, aren't they, for the little ones. The one that we've been using throughout this, the boss. I repaired that, and boy, did it cost quite a lot for that little thing. Yeah, 30,500. So again, yeah, I was just thinking for that little extra, it's hardly worth that extra. It's one and a half times for, I suppose it is technically one and a half times, so I suppose it's on par with, but... I think the ones that are good value are, yeah, I mean, that's, there's three, I suppose Zelon actually is quite good value, I never thought about it in that way, it's quite a bit, seven, it is half again that, for half again the price, so they are actually on par really, it's whether you've got 30 or 46 grand that's really the question with those, but that one, the leap to that, the three cubic metres seems really not so good. The ones that I think are good value are these from that tried that forage pickup. It is good. It is it can't work, I can't work with it at present. No, which is a shame. Yeah, these pottingers. Now that is good value. It really is. I think I've got was it that one? No, I went through the hundred and three I think, which was yeah again. I think that one probably represents best value, if I'm honest, the 93,000 one. Of all of them, bang for book, I would say just. Yeah, what's about the repeat? What's that got? Yeah, again. No, it definitely is better. Anyway, I am waffling. I'm going around in circles because I am tired because it has been a monster mammoth session. We've cleared all the straw and there was a lot of it off this field. Well, when I say all, there is a. Yeah bit of a line from that one down there to that, that I think that's all I didn't do I had to finish that edge off as I was running that over to the other side yeah as we were talking actually yeah, I did that run of straw so all we've got is one line of straw down there which yeah I, it can stay there I'm not worried about it we've, we know we've got too much straw and it's not it isn't laziness we've got a lot of we've still got a lot of straw which is far more important on the other field I wouldn't mind, I suppose. It's, yeah, I don't make the cost too silly though, but we've got a windrow, but it's not much use in using our windrower because the windrows, it's a 6.5 metre windrower and the header was a 5.3, so you cannot grab the two together unless you kept on overlapping your windrows, which is a lot of work for very little gain. The only way you could do it was if you did a have a look what sort of size windrow and if we were going to do that what sort because of, it would be useful we've got a lot of grass and straw work to do with a, a larger one how big are you 8.4 i think it needs to be like a yeah maybe the crone how much were you to be leasing two grand oh, that is there any modded ones i'm not sure there are Am I faithful? I usually buy now. Yeah, that is eight, it's still only 8.5. It does need to be 10 ish meters. How much about you? 2.6. That's not bad. Not for a 12.5 meter. So, how much do you compare to the massive Swadro? Another grand. Yeah. Hmm, okay. I think we might do it. How much for you again? 2,000 for a 9.7 versus... 
2006 for the extra two and a half meters nearly two seven suppose this ah that that might come in handy for once actually the, that has one what I normally call a disadvantage I, I, I'm talking in riddles I don't expect you to read my head yeah the littler crone now I actually got this on oh I always forget the name of that map the hilly map oh, it may pop but it might not that's one of those where it, you double it it goes you go over it once and then the worker goes over it again if you leave it to a standard worker he actually makes massive massive um, things now actually for once on the straw field that's not a bad thing to do we could actually do that and it would obviously there'd be big windrows and if we kept the mezzo for doing that that has got quite a large yeah let's see have I got anything over there to jump into just so I can show you what I mean where is the mezzo yeah did I send that I haven't sent it back have I Sure, I didn't. No, I haven't. Yeah, on the mezzo, its header, its pickup is absolutely really quite large. I don't know if it tells you on the thing, but that is much wider. Normally, the pickup is the size of the wagon, but that's bigger. Definitely bigger than that. So it's almost one and a half times. That's why I liked it. It's offset. That's a pain. It really is. But we'll we'll manually pick that up. But I reckon if we use that monster and lease that, fact, yeah, let's do it now. Are we going to be doing that straight away? Yeah, pretty much. So we will. We'll lease that now, ready for next session. And we'll go and fetch it. Right, let's go grab the HTZ, because that is actually close to that side. What we will do, though, is we will be clever. We'll drop these trailers down at the bottom of the fields. Yeah, well, we... Yeah, actually, yeah, that's not bad. That's going to quite a good move, it's going to save us some time, although do we need to be, we need to be equalising these don't we, and the biggest one was the one at the top, so do you know something, we are going to leave these there, yeah the, that's the main job, we can cut across the field then the back way to the shop, so I am happy because I know we can achieve our goal, it's been, it has been and I do mean this, absolutely. I have never ever in all of my years of Farm Simulator worked so hard and pulled out all the stops. Often you don't need to. Sometimes things can quite nicely surprise you. Sometimes they can be terrible as well. We all know that. We've had some. In fact, I've got to be honest, I felt this was fighting me at the beginning. I really did. I know the contract um, stuff ups and all that type of stuff, yeah really did fight against me so what we're going to do is we shall set yeah court even course play when it does that does the one pass and then goes over it again and makes a massive massive swath it really does i didn't like it for that but in this particular case it really is going to be quite useful so yeah actually oh, what, was it? what was the name of that map i really did like that map as well the hilly one it had monster hills What's it called? Oh. Yeah. I shall have a look at the name of the map. I still have the save. Like I deleted it. I've backed them up, but I've deleted the actual save slot, which I could have. I've got the save game backed up, so it wouldn't matter. I'd just have to reload the actual. Yeah, I can't get that bit of grass there. It's, I think I could with a little bit of craftiness if I came the wrong way with the net. So with it being a an offset, I think I could actually do that. But right, so let's set this. Now I think this is going to be going to need to be doing this, which that's a shame because we could really have. Yeah, I don't think that's. I know windows aren't very powerful. Though. Let's have a look. I might might be wrong, but I actually do think this time. I, I think I'm. Speaking true, I think that window is a little bit beyond our little one. Oh, no, not really. It is. I mean, ours is 81 horsepower, that's 90, but it's within the range, within the limit. So, do you know, that's exactly what we're going to do. He's a mighty beast and a plucky one, we know that. So, we are going to set that up. I'm going to 
grab the forage off the thing, and that is, yeah. In fact, do we need that? If we're going to use the mezzo. That is true. At this precise moment in time, this is surplus to requirements. We don't want to be paying leasing costs for any additional hours for this when we've got the mezzo. For tomorrow, we will release one or buy one if we were fortunate, of which I'm not counting my chickens. I'm just saying, you never know. Right, let's get the course made for tomorrow, and all preparation that could be done is done for tomorrow's session. It's just a matter of going bang and literally setting this going to do the swathing. Shall we go round and round? Or shall we? I'm not sure. Right, anyway, course. Let's make the course, that's all I'm saying. And field is this one, and generator. Only one tool, number of headlands. Should we stay full? Let's just see. Let's see what that actually does. I would imagine that's quite a lot, actually. Yeah, but I suppose it saves it turning into the road. It's not a bad idea. Let's save that course. Field 17. 17. Large wind. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to be buying another one. And that is where we're going to leave it. So that course is set for tomorrow. We've got to manually grab all of this grass with our... with the mezzo. Let's quickly send the forage wagon back. Now, mate, did you... has it got anything in it? I think we emptied it just. We did indeed. That is all right. I don't want to be sending anything. Right, so we are now going to return that. Brilliant. And we will be using the mezzo to shift and equal. Yeah, that's true. We can use it for that. We can grab the mezzo for equalizing. We can. It will let us feel that technically it's a bit naughty because the roof, yeah, is all. I suppose the roof could be caging if we if we're going to be honest. It could well be, but with that we can actually equalise a lot of product between those Hessians, as we know we need to do. That's the top priority. Set this going on the windrowing, whilst we equalise with the. Yeah, in fact, let's get everything set up while we're chattering. I'm nearly finished. I'm not going to waffle on for much longer, but yeah just literally wanted to share the battle plan of tomorrow with you but we shall be using the mezzo as just a trailer technically so that's what we could do actually being as we're right next to that is see if that needs to be equalized if we need to remove anything from this while we're here yeah i'm not going to do anything more but that's a point so i bet the met oh no the mezzo could go at the back it is yeah it's still got it is a it's a pin hitch as well. I suppose that makes sense. So that could technically then be used on the back of a forage wagon if you ever sort of... Let's go backwards. Right, so... Ah, so this could do is straw. This is the one that hasn't got any straw in it. Silage you can have as much as you like because we could sell the excess. It's about 30 tons. It's easy to stand out than it is to do anything else, really. We should have, yeah, 180 odd tons of grass. Okay, let's take that across. So we need to be picking up the other four sets of things. Although, to, to be honest, this beast can actually shift 55 tons, something like that. It's a lot. It's, yeah. It's funny how, I, how your opinion of things changes. This was in FS19 quite at the very end, and I never used it. I always thought it was expensive, but then forage wagons are. Now then, this one will not have that much grass in it. Let's see. As we're passing by the door, you can see we had silly knots to, uh, yeah, see if this needs to top up. 
but, but there's no need to do it because it might not need a tire. Did drop some in it. This has got oh no, very little actually, so that will definitely be useful. This is the one with the least grass of any. Yeah, this was the one we said was really, really terrible. Ah, it would help if you were on the right thing. Right, let's see then. Let's look which one has got the most in. We're going to grab, not, not doing it, but I am going to see, that's 180. That's the one we've just done over there. That was 38. Ah, that's right, the grass was the least. It's straw, isn't it? Let's tag you. Actually, that is a point. How much straw have you got in? We could take some from this, being as we're here. Straw. No, it's actually, it's got, it, it does want a little bit itself. It's that monster at the top, the one we've had the longest. Hang on, that isn't the one we've had the longest. No, that's the new one. Right, let's take this. We will grab some. And we'll leave it there. I'm not faffing around any more than that. But yeah, I don't think we do need the four. If I'm honest, I think we can do it with this. It's certainly going to be quick enough because we're at, these are the th main three where we need to do the equalizer. I think we need to nick some from. No, stop saying that, Nick. It's not nicking. Oh, do you know? Terrible. Right. And so we want 180. I think, yeah, this is going to be an absolutely full one. We shall see what we've got left after that. I'm not, I think it's 55 tons. Sure it is. I think that would be far off actually. And it doesn't matter if it's slightly over, it does matter if someone's slightly under, that's the real problem. I was 52, sorry, yeah, 52 tons. Absolutely brilliant. And that is where we're gonna leave it. We shall do that tomorrow do the equalizing and no with the 10 tons of the 10 tons of uh, wheat I might actually stick it in the, um, the to convert it to flour actually set that going it should easily be able to do that and it saves us running that right the way across they're all on selling now aren't they yep yeah, that is where we're going to leave it I am very very pleased with our progress and we have yeah <laughs> when time catches up with us at the turn of September morning we will have enough money in the bank which is a very nice feeling to have and I'm not going to waffle on anymore I've waffled and bent your ears for long enough so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I hope you're going to continue with me on the end the finale of the storyline I'm not saying that we're going to stop on no on Lepacho, but I'm just saying the story like, oh, and that creep is doing my head in. Yeah, let's jump in that. So, I am going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>